Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the best ways to make MT here in season one of NBA 2K24, my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, tons of consistent daily my team content. We are out here grinding in season one of my team. So would really, really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and um, trying to hit 30K, man, less than a thousand subscribers, but I would love to hit that by the end of September. Without further ado, let's Let's hop right into it and let's talk about how to make MT in my team. So I'm going to be completely straightforward and honest and start this video by just saying it's not easy. The game is not particularly rewarding right now. Plain and simple, it's not. And I think that's a very, very valid thing to point out. And I think it's a valid thing to honestly be kind of concerned about. Um, it's something that I think where people are gonna continue to talk about more and more, and I'm gonna continue to talk about more and more here in the near future. But there is one specific mode that reigns supreme right now when it comes to making MT, and it's not even close. I mean, truly not even close. And that, surprisingly, is domination. I didn't expect to say this, but if you are purely trying to make MT, domination is the place to start. The reason that I say that, well, you get some other various random rewards per game, right, in the current domination, and the same is true for the era's domination, although still not that exceptionally great, right? Like, none of this stuff is particularly good in terms of a per-game basis, but you're going to make a decent amount of MT in each game you play definitely around the same amount as you would make in any online game. You're gonna win basically every single game in offline, I feel like. I don't think offline is particularly hard. Even these uh, Eras teams are not that hard. And more importantly, every single division, you're getting 10,000 MT. Doesn't sound crazy, I know. It's not that insane, but all this stuff does add up again. In addition to the fact that you're getting a deluxe badge pack for five stars, you're getting a badge pack in every single one of these wins. You're getting um, these shoes. I mean, they're, they're, again, the base rewards aren't that good. The errors rewards aren't that much better. But 10,000 MT for every single division plus a chunk of MT each game, that's I don't know, 15,000 plus MT each division, just off rip. Uh, and you're gonna make more and more and more off of these different rewards and different stuff like that. And I, I, MT, I understand. It, you're not gonna be making the MT no money spent right now to go buy Wilt or LeBron or Russ. I just, I don't think that's super realistic, but you will make a pretty solid chunk of MT as you progress through these domination tiers. 15, 20,000 MT per division adds up pretty quickly. And all of a sudden you're looking at completing a domination and 120,000 MT just through that, not to mention another 15 K at 33 stars. Um, not to mention a bunch of other super duper solid rewards, a hall of fame badge option pack at 66 stars. I know that's not MT, but that's a good reward. Amethyst Jalen Brunson, surprisingly enough i think he's a pretty darn good card as well so like there are a lot of solid rewards not to mention i'm not certain if my boy hibachi um which shout out to him i've used his account for certain things before and stuff as well i'm not certain i'm just gonna scroll through here no he has not he has not posted the um rewards for the last three games of current domination so i'm actually not certain what those look like although i know they're going to be decent but the era's last three games give you an additional 5,000 mt per game so you're looking at another 15,000 mt there plus a hall of fame match option pack in each of those games so that's pretty sick not to mention again you're gonna get more mt and overall rewards i guess not mt but these um these rewards for each of these star milestones a diamond tim duncan who's gonna be a really really great inside big especially here early in the game you're getting a couple guys in brunson and duncan who can definitely play on your team and are super solid cards not to mention they actually complement each other really well with brunson having an elite release and really good shooting badges including hoff many marksman which is one of the best badges in the game especially for a small guard and then tim duncan who's that screen and roll inside big dominant defender elite rebounder all that type of stuff i feel like you're getting first of all two cards that are really really good and complement each other quite well if you are running your team yes timmy can't shoot threes we're so early in the year it's not that important he's fast he's versatile he's an elite rebounder he's got incredible defensive ability obviously he's a really really good card and then brunson is an elite like three hunting shooting point guard who's got a lot of athleticism that mini marksman badge is really really good from what i've heard and then again Let's say you make 20,000 MT per division. You get through each division, you're looking at 120,000 MT, plus another 15,000 MT at the end, plus the per game bonuses. You're looking at pretty easily 150,000 MT for the regular domination, and then another 15,000 MT per division, plus another 25K times six is 
150k plus the final rewards you're probably looking at another I mean, you're pretty easily looking at 300, 350, maybe even 400,000 MT, plus Hall of Fame badges, plus diamond shoes, plus takeover packs, plus badge packs that like deluxe badge packs to give you a ton of early game badges again. And here's the thing to consider about like badges and stuff. You can go sell badges that you get in your collection and they may not sell for an extraordinary amount, but I will say as the year progresses and people start looking to add badges to their cards, badges are going to start to sell for more. So you can hold on to them if you want, or you can post them up and yeah, they may not all sell for crazy. I mean, break started right there is selling for 700 MT, but that's a chunk. If you want to sell it, 900, 800 MT right there. Again, I know it doesn't seem crazy, but it's all going to add up, especially when you're getting a deluxe badge pack for every single game. It's got three badges and you're getting a badge every single game, even in the current domination. And again, you're getting good players. You're getting at the end of it. You're getting some of these badges are actually truly going to sell for a good amount. Like there's just a lot of super duper solid rewards that you can get from domination that is just not really common in any other mode right now and that's the honest truth because again when you go look at these other modes showdown i mean i'm in tier 10 right now so as you get higher up in tiers the rewards are going to get better but they're not amazing and it's once a week you know what i'm saying and this is the best of all the online modes like triple threat offline or try triple threat park is literally you're basically playing for a five game win streak to get a sapphire basically right now like that's that's not good enough honestly I, it's just the other modes and other rewards just are not all that great now i would recommend sitting here and doing your exhibitions i only have one exhibition going right now i don't have enough cards for these other exhibitions right now which admittedly is annoying i don't have the cards for these exhibitions which is frustrating but as the year progresses as you get more cards in your collection you'll get more and more cards for exhibitions exhibitions are always just going to be free rewards for emt even if they're not great you might as well fill out and complete as many of your exhibitions as possible salary caps an okay-ish mode to grind certain things but overall you're still probably not getting very good rewards as a whole um you're just not getting tons and tons of mt although you'll get some if you'll complete it for sure you're still going to make a chunk of mt even if it's not crazy um as a whole it's it's just honestly the mode as a whole is not very rewarding it's not and that's the honest truth and i'm not going to sugarcoat that at the same time domination is really rewarding right now that is the place to go if you are trying to make MT. I've only done six stars of domination so far. I'm not an offline grinder. I'm not a big domination player whatsoever. And yet I am truly sitting here right now and contemplating playing domination over the next week or so to try to complete this. Not even as much for the players as much as for the MT, man. Because I'm telling you all, 300, 400K MT, which is probably what you're probably going to make from domination, goes a long way. And all those other different extra rewards may not seem like a ton by themselves, but they will add up big time. And these games feel like they're slow, but they go faster than you think. So um, if you're trying to make MT, man, the honest truth is domination is the place to go. Make sure you're doing your exhibitions. If you want to play other modes, go for it. But that is what you need to do to make MT right now is play that domination, to be completely honest. It is easily the number one place to, to make MT. And I mean, put simply, if you ask me, how do I make MT in this game right now? That's going to be my answer. Now, yes, you can sit here in the auction house and try to snipe and stuff like that. I haven't really figured out any real sniping filters so far. But for example, if you wanted to come on here on Amethyst, look at the uh, cheapest Amethyst possible and put your buy now bid right below the price of that Amethyst. I don't even know how much the cheapest Amethyst is right now. But um, you could do that and snipe for higher tier Amethyst and stuff like that and sit here and try to snipe basically any other Amethyst than Jason Tatum for sub 10,000 MT or so. See if you can get anything like that you can come in here and try to snipe gems of the game cards for example and see if you can get any good ones there like uh for cheaper prices and stuff like that like there are certain things you can do and certain other ways to make mt and stuff but i don't think sniping as of yet with the way the auction house is and the amount of people honestly who still haven't unlocked the auction house and stuff like that really i don't think sniping is that great at this point so if you're trying to make mt man domination's the way to go it just is it's the honest truth, and that is what I would recommend if you are trying to make MT right now in Season 1 of my team, because it is the only thing that is truly particularly rewarding at this point. So, with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace!